A few weeks ago, Gatsby got injured. Hey Gatsby, how do you feel? Today, I thought I would cook for him something really special. Some very healing chicken noodle soup for dogs. I went to the store and bought all of these ingredients for you, Gatsby. We bought some bone-in chicken thighs and also some chicken heart and chicken gizzard. We're going to be adding some eggshell powder to the chicken broth. Eggshells are very good for doggies, which is high in calcium for our chicken noodle soup. First, we're gonna preheat the oven to 200 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna save the eggs because uh, I'm gonna eat that later. We wanna bake the eggshells so it dries it out. Just wanna clean them out. What do you think, Gatsby? For about 15 minutes. So chicken noodle soup usually comes with onions as well, but onions are not good for dogs. Celery is actually good for dogs because they contain vitamins A, C, and K. Carrots are good because they contain vitamins A, as well as beta carotene, and they are good for a doggy's digestive health as well as their dental health. It's kind of like a merpois without the onions. Here's our Instant Pot. It is a pressure cooker. Saute. There we go. One tablespoon of butter. The butter melted. Set a timer for three minutes. I got him also some fresh Italian parsley. We need a little bit of this. We also have some oregano, as well as a little bit of thyme. Yeah, Gatsby. It smells so yummy. Cooking a healthy meal for my corgi. We're gonna add two cups of low sodium chicken broth. Yeah, Gatsby. You want low sodium, huh? Up. Chicken bone is incredibly good for doggies, so but this has the bone in it and everything. So we're just gonna add that inside, as well as some of this chicken gizzard and chicken heart. <laughs> Guess he's like, oh my gosh, that smells so yummy. We got it all in there. All right, and we're gonna set it now to soup for seven minutes, that's correct. Eggshells should be done, nice and dry. Usually you wanna put this in a coffee grinder. Got peas over here. Those are super good for doggies. A sweet potato. We have some egg noodles. And we're also gonna add some rice. Okay. The soup is done! Here are the thighs that have the bone so we can shred the chicken. Stop this. Set it again to saute for six minutes. We're gonna add some more eggshell. Put that in. Next, we're gonna cook our sweet potato for towel for three minutes. Adding the chicken back in without the bone. Do you like a piece of chicken? Is it yummy? <laughs> yeah? Was that yummy? Was that yummy? It's like, yes. Uh, I made it so that it wasn't so soupy because Gatsby's gonna like the stuff inside of it. With all of that yumminess, look at that. Oh. This is gonna be for you, Gatsby. You just gotta let it cool down first. Do you think it's gonna make you feel better? He's like, I can't look. I'm gonna eat it. Okay, it's cooled down. Time for Gatsby to try it. Here you go. Wow, that spilled all over the carpet. Gatsby, I hope that made you feel better. Look at that smile. That's the smile I like. Is that yummy? This is Gatsby's like approval. He's like, oh my gosh, so yummy. Or you're using the carpet as a napkin. Thank you so much to everyone for their patience and their well wishes. And I think it's time for us to start the vlog. <gasps> Who's that Corgi? What are you up to?
everybody, just taking Gatsby on a short walk. During this time, all I've been doing was just keeping Gatsby nice and calm. We haven't been doing much other than just going on our usual potty breaks outside. And thank you so much for your patience. I am still trying to keep him as quiet and as calm as possible because he is still recovering. Um, I don't want to inflame his leg, which he injured a few weeks ago. Thank you so much to everybody for all of your well wishes. Yeah? You wanna say thank you, Gatsby? <laughs> Today we're using the Zoom Groom brush to brush Gatsby. He likes it. It's more of like a massaging tool than anything. It has like these really soft bristles, like stimulates blood flow on the skin and the muscles. <laughs> okay, are we done? Yeah? One new thing that I got is a new camera though. All my cameras are actually Canon cameras, but I did pick up this new Sony camera that just came out. Yeah, Gatsby? And the cool thing is it turns on once you open the screen like this. See? Oh, so fast. It can easily replace this Canon G7X camera, which I've been using for so long. This is the new camera. And if I hold up something like this, it should focus super fast. Yeah. Wow. Okay, here's my side-by-side -side comparison of both cameras. Which one looks better? So I noticed the G7X one is definitely a lot brighter. And then the Sony one, the colors are definitely a lot more vibrant. What do you guys think? In the comments below, let me know which one you think looks better. Which one do you think? Okay, I turned off the skin softening effect. I, it looks better now, I think. The focus on both of them is pretty good, actually. So I'll stand further back and then put this... Yeah, I'm not sure which one I like more, actually. I do kind of still like the, the, the Canon one just because I'm used to it, but I don't know. <gasps> no Corgi in the bed. See, he's not hiding in the bathroom anymore. Everyone wants to know, Gatsby, how do you feel? Do you feel better? He's definitely not as happy as usual because he doesn't get to exercise. So we gotta wait like at least another week, okay? And then we can start playing. We don't want to do it too early. last vlog we launched these 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzles. I didn't anticipate people being so interested in this jigsaw puzzle. This fruit one sold out in under an hour. This one is also close to selling out as well. I had to place the order months ago so I didn't really know I was just guessing. A lot of people were asking me once you're done with the puzzle how do you hang it up? I thought I would show you guys today. The easiest way to do it is to have a foam core board just like this one. Get another foam core board and sandwich it between the two. Flip the puzzle over like so and look. Ta-da! You can see the back of the puzzle. What we do is then we just take some tape and then we can just tape the back of the puzzle like so. That's how you tape the puzzles. There we go. And we did it, Gatsby, look. Now you can hold onto the puzzle and look, it works. Check it out, we can hang the puzzle. Thank you so much for helping me out, dude. Okay, it's time for us to do a water change and clean the aquarium. Look at this glass. That is dirty. As you can see, this is a magnet cleaner with a blade on the inside, so I don't have to stick my hand in the tank. And you just scrub. I'm gonna connect this to the shower. Okay, and then we suck out the water from the back chambers. Look at that, look at the coral growth. You can kind of see it, see that piece right over here that's kind of like sticking out? That was the original piece, and then it grew that big. So we suck out the back chambers because that's where most of the detritus stays and hangs out. So that's the place that needs to be cleaned the most. Okay, that's good. What do you think, Gatsby? <laughs> okay, just get the tubing. I made some water here. It's been mixing. So when you make salt water, it's not just taking like kitchen salt and pouring in the water. You have to have like 
specific seawater. We gotta fill it back up. So when you make the seawater, you have to mix it to the correct uh, temperature and the correct salinity so that it matches the aquarium water. He's resting, you guys. Okay, and we're done. Tank is clean. Hey, fishies, how do you feel? Oh, hey, dudes. I have some frozen food today, so we are going to feed the fishies and the coral with it. This is how you can spot feed like the coral. Just kind of spray the food at them. <laughs> can feed the anemone. There it goes. It's like, oh, grab the food. Let's grab it. There, got it. He grabbed it. Okay, so now we gotta make sure that the fishies don't grab that out of his mouth. So I'm just gonna pour the rest of the food inside to distract them. <laughs> if you ever wanted to see what it looks like when a coral eats food, this is what it looks like. It's just very slow. He's like slowly putting the food in its mouth. As you can see, it's like opening its mouth. Gotta do it faster, dude. This one's almost done eating his. See those white parts? Those are like the arms that like grab the food. He ate it! Good job! I think we're in the clear. Oh, thank you, Gatsby. And now it's time for this week's Corgi Crunch. And that was this week's Corgi Crunch. Today is leg day at the home gym. All of my leg exercises are gonna be using the dumbbells. Let's get started. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Okay, let's get on with the vlog. Gatsby, I'm done. What do you think? He's like, I'm resting. Since I already pretty much cooked for Gatsby today, today for me for dinner, I'm going to just be reheating my chicken and rice. I have been really loving onions. I don't know why. It tastes so good with chicken. Just take one whole onion. I'm not making it pretty or anything, so you just chop them. This is chicken that I brined and then I cooked with Cajun seasoning in the air fryer and I'm just reheating it. How you reheat rice that's been in the refrigerator is you actually take a paper towel, wet it, cover it, and I microwave it for like uh, like a minute and a half. Okay. They start becoming really sweet. Some salt. That'll add some salty to the sweet onions, which is so good. Paprika! I don't add enough to make it spicy, but I add enough to like add flavor to everything. I'm gonna make everything a little bit paprika color. This is my meal here. So we have chicken, onions, and rice. Mm, the onions are so good. When I was younger, I never got onions, but nowadays I'm just like, oh, it's so good. Onions reinvigorates the chicken. Look at all that we have to open. Are you ready to open some mail? Oh my gosh, Gatsby, you got all these stuffed animals. Pineapple here. Look at this. Oh. What is this? You got some more. Gatsby, we love you and we hope you get better soon. There are several other toys we sent. Our favorite, a pineapple aloha from Aaron and Liliana. Gatsby, this is for you. The Sato family from Atlanta, Georgia. This is by Rio, Corgi on it, and then you go like this. Whoa, it's pretty cool. Okay, he's like, what, what was that? <gasps> Did I get in trouble? <laughs> this one is from Canada, from a boba to go, a boba and a bow, get well soon, from Dexter and Yuki. Smell something, I think there's food in there. Mateo from Camarillo, California. Get well soon, Gatsby from Joey and Zelda. Optimal hit and joint product for dogs. Get well soon, Gatsby from Carrie, Scott, and Benjamin, and the Corgis, Gus, and Cindy Lou. Again, you're one tough cookie. Oh my gosh, there's like a thermometer cookie. <laughs> okay, with love from Gina and Edward. Hi Jane, 
Gabe and Nate and Monty and Firestarter the Kitty Cat. The final package. This is from Sherry from New York, New York. That must have taken a lot of time to do. You had to nail the board and everything. Gatsby and I want to thank everybody so much for all of your well wishes. My heart is just like, oh, thank you so much, everybody, for sending so much support and love. We all are rooting for you to get better. Yeah. Pretty much our entire summer merchandise drop is sold out except for a few puzzles. So if you want to get those, make sure to go to CordyOnFleek.com. Other than that, we're going to head to bed. And we'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully with Gatsby having fully recovered. Good night! Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan! Oh, sorry. Gatsby, what happened? He's really, really hurting. Gatsby hurt his leg. I don't know what happened.